Today is an important day in the Bible. This is a, a real important, real important piece that I'm gonna have to talk about for a second. But the reason I had the mask on is um this um coronavirus, man. This um I'm not like a I'm not like a freak on it. Like I, I don't I was like I was one to say like it's a hoax and all this, but it's better to be safe than sorry. So wear a, wear a mask if you got one. Like. You know, even a, even like a winter mask or clean clean your hands a lot and just be better safe than sorry. Do do whatever you gotta do to stay safe. Even if it is a hoax, it's better to be safe than sorry. But all right, today is Genesis four, Thursday, three nineteen twenty. Uh, that's the date. Three dash nineteen. That's twenty. Genesis four today. All right. Cain and Abel. Adam made love to his wife Eve, and she became pregnant and gave birth to Cain. She said, with the help of the Lord, I have brought forth a man. Later she gave birth to his brother Abel. Now Abel kept flocks and Cain worked the soil. In the course of time, Cain brought some of the fruits of the soil as an offering to the Lord. And Abel also brought an offering, fat portions from some of the firstborn of his flock. The Lord looked with favor on Abel and his offering, but on Cain and his offering he did not look with favor. So Cain was very angry and his face was downcast. Then the Lord said to Cain, the Lord said, Why are you angry? Why is your face downcast? If you do what is right, will you not be accepted? But if you do what, but if you do not do what is right, sin is crouching at your door. It desires to have you, but you must rule over it. And I, I like that part. I like that's that's real important. So I highlighted my likes. Then the Lord said to Cain, "Why are you angry? Why is your face downcast?" If you do what is right, will you not be accepted? But if you do not do what is right, sin is crouching at your door. It desires to have you, but you must rule over it. It desires to have you, but you must rule over it. Now Cain said to his brother Abel, Let's go out to the field. While they were in the field, Cain attacked his brother Abel and killed him. Then the Lord said to Cain, The Lord said, Where is your brother Abel? I, I don't know, he replied. Am I my brother's keeper? The Lord said, What have you done? Listen, your brother's blood cries out to me from the ground. Now you are under a curse and driven from the ground, which opened its mouth to receive your brother's blood from your hand. When you work the ground, it will no longer yield its crops for you. You will be a restless wanderer of the earth. Cain said to the Lord, My punishment is more than I can bear. Today you are driving me from the land, and I will be hidden from your presence. I will be restless, I will be a restless wanderer on the earth, and whoever finds me will kill me. Alright, now that's the important part I was talking about. It says He says, I will be a restless wanderer on the earth, and whoever and this is my questions right here. Whoever, so there's only supposed to be Adam, Eve, were the first people on earth. Then Cain and Abel. So he says, and whoever finds me will kill me. So whoever, who's whoever? So if there's only four people on the earth, whoever finds me, that that's questionable, right? Because who's that? Who is whoever? So that means... That's how you know the Bible. It's not the history of the whole world. It's, it's telling us the pieces. This whole Bible, it's all, everything's important. That's how you know everything in the Bible is important because it's not telling us everything. It's telling us enough to where our minds could learn, grasp, and learn from it every day. If it, was, if it said everything, this book would be, it would, it would, it would just be too much, you know? So that's a real important part, whoever, because 
that's 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 what that goes to show you that it's not telling us everything. We can't know everything. So that means everything in the Bible is important. That's why I'm gonna read it from front to back. Even the even the family trees, the family lines, those parts might be boring because it's just a bunch of names listed, but obviously it's important because it's in the Bible. So let's continue. But the Lord said to him, No, so anyone who kills Cain will suffer vengeance seven times over. Seven is a big number in the Bible too. Not so. If anyone who kills Cain will suffer vengeance seven times over, then the Lord put a mark on Cain so that no one who found him would kill him. So Cain went out from the Lord's presence and lived in the land of Nod, east of Eden. Cain made love to his wife, and she became pregnant and gave birth to Enoch. Cain was then building a city, and he named it after his son Enoch. To Enoch was born Irad, and Irad was the father of Mehujael, and Mehujael was the father of Methuselah, and Methuselah was the father of Lamech. Lamech married two women, one named Ada and the other Zillah. Adah gave birth to Jabal. He was the father of those who live in tents and raise livestock. His brother's name was Jubal. He was the father of all who play stringed instruments and pipes. Zillah also had a son, Tubal Cain, who forged all kinds of tools out of bronze and iron. Tubal Cain's sister was Nama. Lamech said to his wives, Ada and Zillah, listen to me, wives of Lamech. Hear my words, I have killed a man for wounding me, a young man for injuring me. If Cain is avenged seven times, then Lamech seventy-seven times. And I highlighted seven times, seven, seventy-seven times, because seven is a big number. I don't, we don't know why yet, but... Adam made love to his wife again, and she gave birth to a son and named him Seth, saying, God has granted me another child in place of Abel, since Cain killed him. Seth also had a son, and he named him Enosh. At that time, people began to call on the name of the Lord. All right, that's that's the ver that's the chapter for today. But you have to pay attention close to every word in the Bible. That that whoever part that I highlighted, that's real important because it, that means every single word in the Bible is important somehow. So. When it's listing names, you have to pay real close attention. What's the name? Um, um, how many brothers did he have? How many sisters? How old was he? Every You have to pay attention to every little detail, and you're not going to get it the first time. So your whole life, you got to keep reading the Bible. Everybody stay safe. God bless. Thank you, Father, for another day. Thank you for your word. Thank you for all your blessings. Please. Please help this um help us understand what it is that we have to do to get through all this craziness going on in the world today. Please um help our families and let your will be done no matter what it is. We'll never be able to understand your will, but please let us let us trust in you and have faith in you that you're doing you're doing what we need we know you we know you're doing the right thing. Amen.